huge cloud dev updates very exciting news this is going to be a very short video for you guys covering the new updates of my favorite ai coding assistant which is cloud dev i'm going to cover a few updates that were released by saud which is the founder of this project the most one of the most exciting ones is the fact that he's going to start working on this full time um, the project has evolved very fast he's been shipping features very often and very frequently and he wasn't even working on this full time so you can only imagine how fast this project is going to evolve from now on besides uh, this i'm going to share with you a few more interesting updates and stick until the end because at the end i will share with you uh, something that i find very useful and meaningful and it's related to the updates but it can also be related to many of your other work in terms of prompt engineering and it's pretty interesting and i'm going to share with you this in the end first thing first let's go to the discord channel if you haven't joined this discord channel by the um, the cloud dev i highly recommend checking it out a great community a lot of great ideas regarding prompts how to generate better system prompts um, this is the update first of all <coughs> new name it's going to be from now on it's going to be klein which stands for cli and editor um, if you want to download cloud dev obviously you can come here to the extension marketplace in vs code and just look from now on you're going to look for klein which is this one and furthermore no more staring at loading spinner so responses are from now on are going to be streamed you can see here help me write a chrome extension that will act as a to-do list and we are going to run command creating the files but this is not the, 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 the major update but you can see here it's streaming the updates and another cool feature is the fact that you can now cancel the command or the api request while it is working so if you did any mistake or anything wrong you can cancel and you don't need to wait until it, it finishes so these are more uh, some exciting updates another exciting update is the fact that you can search and use any open router model so if you come here to the settings you can come to open router and you can look for specific models if you want you can look for only free models which says is uh, filtering and then you can basically um, use if you have an open router api key you can use these models for free so it's going to be valuable for testing although i highly recommend sticking to the paid models they usually perform better and the most exciting update in my opinion is the new xml based tool calling prompt which is resulting in 40 percent less requests per task better performance for non-cloud models here are the, the some stats and details this is basically a, a table that presents um, the improvement in each model in the ability to um, call tools correctly which is very interesting because it basically means that it's going to improve the overall um, performance and also reduce tokens so cloud 3.5 Sonnet saw a 40% reduction in number of requests required to accomplish the task, while other models like Llama and DeepSeek are now not only able to tool, uh, tool call more reliably, but seem to have a greater capacity to reason about uh, executing tasks successfully. Um, now, the last thing that I want to share with you is the updates that are related to this, and these are the updates that were done in the system prompt. Obviously, you can check out the system prompt of any open uh, source um, project. I think this is a, an amazing open source project, which is very valuable. A lot of users getting a fabulous traction. So I think it's very important to and very interesting to, to take a look at the system prompt. So this is what I wanted to cover with you guys today towards the end of the video. And uh, also 
mostly emphasizing the structure and the format, which is very similar to how the Anthropic team is a tool calling the artifacts, which is using XML tags. So as you can see, this is, a, this is the file of the system prompt. So this is the, like the beginning, the definition, the role definition, you are Klein, a highly skilled software engineer with extensive knowledge in many programming languages, frameworks, design patterns, and best practices. Then tool use. You have access to a set of tools that are executed upon the user's approval. You can use one tool per message and will receive the result of the tool use in the user's response. You use tool step by step to accomplish a given task with each tool used informed by the result of the previous tool used. Tool use formatting. Now this is the interesting part. Uh, Tool use is formatted using XML style tags. The tool name is enclosed in opening and closing tags, as you can see here. This is an example. This is very important whenever you do prompts. This is a, a, a great reference for, for a great prompt. So you also provide a structure and you also provide um, an example. And you should also provide, uh, use usually XML tags. This is based on Anthropic and many other researchers. Um, XML tags are the most uh, reliable way to create prompts. So this is an example for execute command. So description request to ex execute a CLI command uh, on the system. Use this when you need to perform system operations or run specific commands to accomplish any step in the user task. These are the parameters. This is the XML tag opening the execute command. And this is the exact command. This is the read file command, write, write to file command, search files commands. I'm not going to go over it, but I highly recommend that you check it out. List files, list code definition names, inspect site, ask follow-up questions, attempt completion. And here are even more uh, examples. So example one, requesting to execute a command, execute command, the command is npm run dev, execute command. Example two, requesting to write uh, to a file, write to a file, the path and the content. In, in a JSON format. Now, tool use guidelines. In thinking tags, assess what information you already have and what information you need to proceed with the task. And this is also something that uh, Anthropic are doing in, in the artifacts. By the way, I created a video about uh, uh, the leaked uh, Anthropic artifact um, prompt. You can check it out. Just look up the, the, the channel leaked um, cloud prompt you will find it. And also Anthropic are publishing their prompts, Anthropic system prompts. They are publishing their system prompts from now on, just to keep, um, they, they say that they want to promote transparency. And many times people or a lot of users start reporting about a decrease or a, a, many, many a decrease in abilities of a model. So this is why they said, okay, from now on, we are going to share the system prompts. And then this is a way for users to stay updated and kind of hold the, the service provider accountable. So since the last change was probably in September, in the 9th of September, this is basically the system prompt, uh, prompt of Cloud Sonnet, text only, Cloud Info. You can see it's enclosed in XML tags. Then um, Cloud Family Info. This is um, the part for text and images. Cloud Image Specific Info. So you can see um, exactly the XML tags and how they constructed the prompts. Let's go back to the system prompt. So tool use guidelines, capabilities, and rules and system information, objective, and the user custom instructions. So this is the whole system prompt that um, Claude Dev from now on Klein is using. And I highly recommend that if you guys are interested in learning how to prompt better, you check out this resource, which is very valuable, and also check out the prompts that are provided by Anthropic, and also check out uh, my recent video about the leaked uh, Claude and uh, artifacts uh, prompt. I guess that's it for today. Just a short video about an update 
of CloudDev. I highly recommend that if you're not using CloudDev yet or client from now on, check it out. I think it's the leading AI assistant these days. I know that many of you are using Corsair. I haven't messed around with Corsair too much. I mostly use CloudDev with continued dev. Definitely thinking of giving a uh, Corsair a go since I heard a, a podcast um, of the founders of Corsair with Lex uh, Friedman. It was very insightful, very interesting to see exactly what they are planning and where is the AI coding assistance the whole uh, space is heading towards. Very exciting times. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you have... Um, feedback suggestions ideas please leave them in the comment section below and until next time keep on automating